Hi guys, it's Sherry. I hope that you're having a fantastic day. Y'all grab those placemats. Stay tuned. So welcome to everyone joining me today. I really do appreciate your being here. And welcome to all of my new subscribers. I am so grateful and so thankful that you are trusting me with some of your time. So we have made bags and cell phone cases using placemats from the Dollar Tree. Today, we're actually going to make a little wallet. It might remind you a little bit of a cell phone case, but this truly is a wallet. And on it, we have a strap that you can wrap around your wrist when you're carrying this. It'll hold your cash. You can even put your cell phone in it if you want. You can put all types of little things in here. But it's perfect if you want to give the gift of cash or gift cards and you want a really cute way to present it. This is so super easy to make, but it is another way that we can take advantage of those extremely inexpensive placements that we're able to find at the Dollar Tree, your thrift store, or your local low cost store. So y'all know what time it is, it is time to make it. And so here is a closer look at the wallet that we're going to be making. It opens from the top and as you can see, we have plenty of room to place little whatnots on the inside, especially cash or gift cards. Super simple to make, super cute, and very original. So here's what you're going to need to make it. My place mat is actually 18 by 12, but I'll be cutting it down to nine by 10 and a quarter. And this place mat is from the Dollar Tree. Those of you who don't have a Dollar Tree, I'm sure that you have access to place mats from other stores. So if you're interested in making this project, check out some of those other stores where you might be able to find some low cost placemats. And here is the image that I cut out to use on this project. So what you're going to need to do is just find out how much of this image you want to keep and then just make sure you cut it at least nine inches wide and 10 and a quarter inches long. So all I did was decided how much of my image I wanted to keep and trimmed out nine by 10 and a quarter. And this is what I have decided that I want to keep. This is going to be so easy. Okay, so to make our project, we're going to score on the 10 and a quarter inch side. We're going to score at three and a half. And just make sure you press down into that vinyl. And then we're going to score at seven and a quarter. And then I'm going to bring in my big old spatula. Fold and burnish that score. And then I'll do the same thing at the top. Now, when you're making this project, please keep in mind that your image is going to be a little distorted because we are folding. So now that we have it like this, we're going to take the three and a half inch score that we made and that'll get folded upwards. And then I'm just going to take some of my double stick tape and I'm using a one inch strip, but I don't want it to be one inches wide and I'm out of half inch tape. So I'm just going to cut this down the middle and I'm going to take my tape, place it right at the bottom on the edge and take it up as far as it will go. And I'll do the same thing on this side. I'll take that other half. I'm going to place it right there. And then I need to cut a smaller piece because I've got a little bit of spacing left over. So I cut another strip. I'm going to take my finger blade and we'll take this strip and we're going to put it right there. And I'll take this strip and we're going to put it right there. So now we can peel away our strips and we're going to take this piece bring it up. I'm going to use my big old spatula to get that nice and stuck. And so guys, this tape will hold. I have not tried this with glue, so I can't answer those questions of whether or not it will work with glue, but I would certainly encourage you to give it a try 
with the glue. So now what I want to do, the wallet is pretty much complete, but what I'm going to do is I am just going to angle in a little bit because I want to give it a little bit of a shape. So all I'm doing is going to that score mark and then we angle in as much or as little as you want. And I see I can come in a little bit over here. So now when I fold this over, I have this shape and I love how this looks. I like the graphics on it, just like I like the graphics on this one. I think they're very unique and anyone who receives it will love it. And so now we're going to go ahead and just punch the hole in the strap. And all I did to make the strap is when you trim away some of this to just get that graphic, you're going to have large pieces of this left. And I just trimmed myself a 12 inch strip and it's 12 by one quarter of an inch. So I am going to take my strip and I'm punching a hole using my Crocodile Big Bite. Have it set on the 1 8 setting and then I'm going to take it and just decide where it is I want to place it. And once I have my placement, I am just going to punch a hole. Now, if you want to place an eyelet in that hole, you can. I'm not. And so to attach my handle, I am going to be using these little screws. They look just like regular screws and they have a nice decorative head on them. And if you're interested in these, please check the description box. The sizes might look different to you when you look at them online, but they are the exact same ones that I'm using. Everything that's in the description box are the actual items that I use on my projects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the part that has the screw on it and I'm going to put it in here and then I'm going to take this piece of the strap put it through and then I'll take that little head that screws on and we'll tighten that screw and so now we can fold this over and we will have a nice handle on our little wrist wallet. And the way that I'm going to close this is going to be very simple. I am going to use a Velcro dot. So I'll peel away that backer. I'll take this Velcro, place it on the top flap, peel away the backer piece, fold this over, Make sure I get everything nice and stuck. And so now when I open this, I have a nice little wallet that's perfect for me to tuck in my cash. I can tuck in my phone, tuck in some dollars, card, and carry this on my wrist if I don't want to grab a large purse. This is great as an on-the-go wallet when you really don't need anything bigger than this. And so I can see something like this being a great way to gift graduation gifts, bridal gifts. You can even take this concept and use it to give, let's say a gift card to the new mom at a baby shower. There are so many different ways that you can use this or you can make these for your own personal use. You're going out at night, you want something nice to carry, but you really don't wanna carry a big bag. You can make these up, you can make them in smaller sizes if you want to. And there you go. So I am going to open this one. And I'll bring that first one back in so you can see just how gorgeous these actually are and how easy they were to make. If you're interested in the tape that I use, if you're interested in these little rivets, make sure you check that description box because that is where the links for these will be found. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video and I hope that you have enjoyed this super simple way that we can take something as ordinary as a placemat and turn it into something that is useful and beautiful. If you have enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you are not a subscriber to my channel, I would love to have you join this amazing online crafting family. You guys, as always, please be safe be kind, happy crafting, and we'll chat later. Bye.